Hi, this is Rosie at Testim, and in this video, I'll show you how to install the Testim Chrome extension and how to create a short test on a login flow to a website. In the last step, I will show you how to add a text validation as well. So when you log into the Testim platform for the first time, this is what you'll see. And let's get started. So we, create, we click Create Test. And immediately we're prompted to install the Testim Chrome extension. So we'll just click here, add to Chrome. And this extension meets all of Google's privacy rules and we only use it to record test activity. So the platform automatically recognizes that we've now installed the extension and now we can officially create our first test. So we'll go here and this is our blank slate, right? So from here, I want to click the settings gear icon and add my base URL. And my base URL is just the URL to the website that we're creating our login flow for. So right after I add that, I'm going to hide this and I'll click, I'll just want to save my test already. So we will name it um, login flow. And you can describe the test and here you just do whatever makes sense for you and your team. So click OK. All right. So now that we've added our base URL, we can start recording our first test. So we will click the record button. And right away in a separate window, our base URL will pop up. Um, before we begin, I'm just going to go back here and pause this really quick. And I'm only doing so because I want to uh, show you guys a split view of our base URL and uh, the visual editor here on the left. And I'm doing that just so you can see each action that we're doing over here and how it's creating uh, test steps on the here on the left in the visual editor. Okay, so now that I've split, have the split view to show you guys, I'll come back here, record again, and now we're officially recording. So I'm just gonna do the login flow. So I'll log in. Okay, so I logged in. I'm going to come back here and pause the test. And as I'd mentioned, I'm going to show you how to add a text validation. So we'll click this plus sign icon and we will scroll over to validations and then scroll down to validate element text. And when I click this, I will be prompted to hover over the text I'm trying to validate. And in this case, I want to validate hello John so after I find it and hover over the text, I'll just click it. And you can see here that uh, that step was added, this text validation. So now we can save our test again, uh, save often. <laughs> and here you, you, again, add any message that makes the most sense to you and your team or, or don't at all, doesn't matter. Okay, so from here, we can play the test. I'm going to do a split view again. Um, but to play the test and run it, all you're going to do is click this play button. And something to note is that when you click this play button, your test will automatically run locally. So when I click the play button, you'll see all the actions taking place in our base URL on the right. And then on the left, you'll see all these test steps that are passing. As green indicates, it's a passing test. We get the notification that the test was completed successfully. And that's it. Um, so this was a really simple test, but it's a great example to show you how, like just how easy it is to create tests in our platform. For more information, you can contact me directly. My email is rosie at testim.io. Or you can start your free trial today on our site, which is just testim.io.